Hey, y'all. See a lot of new miners uh, showing up. It's a great time to get into mining. It's exciting. A lot of money. But I see a lot of people asking, should I go for an ASIC or should I go for some GPUs? I've done both over the years. My opinion is, is ASICs are, are, they're tough. They're tough because you can only mine the single coin. I originally had bought the uh, in a silicon A9 when it first came out. When I ordered it, it was supposed to make 80 bucks a day. By the time it shipped, it was down to 40 By the time I received it, it was down to $30 a day. And within a couple of weeks, everybody else had also gotten their shipments of this miner. And it got down to $20 a day really quick. So that was a little different than an Ethereum ASIC. But a lot of hash power all entered the market all at the same time and drove up difficulty. So, you know, a, a $4,000 investment that looked like it was going to make 80 bucks a day and, and pay itself off, you know. Let's see, uh, 4000 bucks, boom, Five, 80 bucks a day. Bro, I'll pay that thing off in 50 days. I'll get a loan. I'll pay off the loan less than two months. I'll be rich. Yeah, guess what? It didn't happen. Didn't happen at all. So by the time I got it, it was four grand divided by 20 bucks a day. Now we're looking at 200 days. And it got worse and worse as the market crashed. So I don't recommend getting a loan thinking you're going to pay it off quick. It might work out for you, but, you know, getting a loan for mining gear, probably not the best idea. You got electricity you got to pay for. Um, it's it's tough to hodl. It really is. That's a, that's a whole different game. So we're going to do some apples to apples here in this market with current gear. Uh, the A10 Pro Plus. It's a beast, 700 mega hash, 750 mega hash at 1300 watts, 1350 watts. It looks great. Plop that in, 750 watts, 1350 watts power. Hardware cost, that's the tough one. You look around here, 12 grand, 12 grand, 13, 13. It's new, it's exciting. People want it now, but we're going to go with that price. 12,000 bucks, baby. It's one of those. Or. 12, 30, 60 TIs, so you got 12 times 60 mega hashes. Gives us our 720 mega hash. A little bit less, but that's all right. Got our power. They average about 120 watts times 12. Boom, 1,440 watts. So that's pretty close. Fairly, you know, the A6 a little more efficient. A few less watts, a little more hash, but 12K. So AK investment. 12, 30, 60 TIs. If you could get some, some Founders um, edition, you got 400 bucks retail, MSRP from Best Buy. You get all your buddies together, everybody orders them. You each get them at 400 bucks. Somehow you get them at, at MSRP, 400 bucks, 4,800 bucks, but you're not getting them that cheap. Good luck. Who's got the time to do all that? So say 650. Looking at 7,800 bucks. Throw 200 bucks in, a little extra for a motherboard, stuff like that. You might be able to find them for 600 bucks, but we're going to call it 8K. You know, let's call it 9K. Why not? So we're going to go over here to our profit calculator, and we're going to change that to a 9. We're going to hit calculate in a silicon, A10. So we have an ROI, break even, 250 days, 215 days. Break even on your 3060 TIs, 169 days. That 12 grand, it's expensive. And that's, that's kind of the, the, the whole market thing is, is the first ASICs that come out, they're really expensive because normally they'll make you a lot of money. Ethereum is a little different right now because you got these new, new uh, video cards that are super efficient. Um, they're matching ASIC numbers at this point. But keep in mind that these ASICs, they can only mine one coin. So let's go over, let's go over to the, uh, the GPU calculator here. We'll take our same 12 3060 TIs. Boom. All, there's all your algos. We're going to calculate. You got all these other coins you can mine. Some days, Firo is a great one. Conflux is a great one. Once Ethereum forks, something goes wrong, like the older Ethereum uh, A6 only had 4 gigabyte of memory. Now you got a dead ASIC that doesn't do nothing. But you still got a video card. Bam, you can you can mine 
all these other coins with. Um, you can also resell those video cards. There's the resaleability that comes that comes with a video card. If you want to get out quick, you can you know you can sell your video cards to some gamers. Everybody's happy. But there it is. Those are your numbers. It ASICs are tough, man. They are tough. They they look great, but you're not the only one buying one. It drives up difficulty. You make less, and and especially right now, mining Ethereum is awesome. Late 2020, early 2021, but this isn't normal. These are not normal mining profits. You know, we're in a boom right now, but it's you know everybody's joining on, so the difficulties are getting higher for everything because there's more miners. So profits will go down over time, and if the and if the the coin you're mining can't keep up with price, you're gonna make less per day. It'll get depressing. And you'll be like, "What did I do with my life? Why did I buy all that stuff on a Visa credit card?" It's a bad idea. You know, you can resell some GPUs. Yeah, they're a little harder to get. ASICs might be a little bit easier to get, but you got to order them from China. You got to pay tariffs. You got to wait two months. If something goes wrong. You got to send it back to China, and it's going to take you a month before you get it back. By then, you lost all your profits. Everybody else is mining now. You're not mining as much every day. So just be safe. Don't overextend yourself. Credit's tough. I know it's easy to get credit. Everybody can get a credit card at this point. They send them out to everybody, every college kid. I'll get a loan and pay it off in 50 days, and I'll be rich. I'll be living in a mansion. Where's my Lambo? Where's my Lambo, bro? It didn't come because it just difficulty skyrocketed because everybody else was getting the same miner. Just be careful. Check out what to mine, but remember, everybody else is joining the network, so what it says today is not what it will, what it will be tomorrow. You'll earn, you know, even though, you know, the coin might be going up in price, um, so it looks better the next day, the difficulty is just that much higher, and you get, you get less coins per day. And then, you know, you hold on to those coins for three months, and they're worth half the price, because the markets move up and down so much, so... Anyway, just be careful. Have fun mining. You know, if you got a, a GPU in your gaming PC, hell yeah, turn it on. Throw some hash. Make make a make a few extra bucks a day. It's great. Just be careful. Don't overdo it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Later.